My name is Mike Wishusen. I'm the Director of Industry Standards and Government Regulations for Michelin North America. Mike, thank you for coming to talk to us today. I know it's very exciting for you to be here in California, yes, the great grand state of California. Can you uh, outline this uh, AB 444 that's been passed and, and why you're here today? Yes, AB 844 was a tire efficiency legislation passed and signed by the governor several years ago. We've now entered the rulemaking stage. So this is the part where we sit down, all the interested stakeholders, and decide how exactly is that legislation going to be implemented. Uh, there's a reporting requirement. Tire manufacturers will be required to report the rolling resistance level of their tires so that consumers can make informed decisions based upon the potential fuel savings and the greenhouse gas reductions that are possible by us in intelligent green-oriented selection of their replacement tires. Will these tires have markings on them so the consumers can see what this resistance level will yeah, be? Not so much on the sidewall of the tire, but at the point of sale, through their tire dealer, on websites, in advertising pieces, that information will be presented. Are these tires primarily um, aftermarket tires, not the tires that come with the cars? Yeah, the, the target of the legislation is the replacement market tire. In the United States, because of CAFE requirements that force OE vehicle manufacturers to, to produce lower and lower fuel consumption vehicles, tires play an important role in that. So the vast majority of original equipment tires are already pushing toward lower rolling resistance. The purpose of the legislation and Michelin's objective is to apply that same technology to the replacement market tires so that consumers can replace their OE tires with equally fuel-efficient tires in the replacement market. I know that Michelin uh, also has uh, tires for the commercial trucking industry. Yes, yes. Will any of those tires, tires be affected by this legislation? Yes. Uh, truck, trucks with up to 18 tires on them uh, are an even greater potential target for fuel savings. Uh, in particular, one product that we have, the X1, is a very large single tire that replaces dual tires, the traditional dual tire arrangement on trucks. Significant fuel savings are available for those commercial vehicles. Now, um, I also know that um, a large part of the commercial truck tires are retreads, is that correct? Yes, yes that is. And, and will these lower resistant tires also be retreaded like the non? Uh, yes, yes, low rolling resistant tires can be retreaded exactly like conventional tires and a lot of that low rolling resistance advantage continues into the second and third life after the tires are retreaded. Um, some of the opposition that, I've, uh, that I've, I've researched on this bill, they were concerned about the amount of tires that will be in the landfills because I understand these green uh, X tires, uh, low resistance tires, wear quicker and, they'll, and they're afraid there'll be more? No, no I think that's a, that's a misconception. Uh, there are many ways you can reduce the rolling resistance of tires. Uh, there is a very simple and a very quick way, which is to reduce the tread depth. That indeed will lead to a, a less wearing tire, and you will end up putting more tires in the landfill. However, Michelin's position, uh, with, our, with our innovation and our technical capabilities, we can produce tires that wear equally as long and still deliver the low rolling, low rolling resistance, so that we don't end up putting more tires into the scrap piles. I understand. Um, I understand uh, next this week uh, the current uh, energy bill in the U.S. government that was just passed last week, there's going to be an addendum with uh, verbiage uh, that you're here today for AB 844. Yes, very, very similar provisions. Uh, California started the, the tire efficiency legislation back in 2002. Uh, Michelin has led the industry's effort to push the federal government to include similar rolling resistance provisions in the current energy bill. Uh, that bill has, has passed through the Senate. It will be taken up by the House tomorrow, and things are looking very good. If it passes and is signed by the President, we'll now have at the federal level the same sort of requirement for labeling low rolling resistance tires that California already has. Right. Mike, can you tell us about on the consumer level, uh, why would I want to buy these tires? Are they, are they more money than the normal tires? Well, no, I think the, the reason a consumer would want to buy it, obviously, if you can reduce your fuel consumption, you reduce your costs. Uh, if you're concerned, even if you're not concerned, you're making a similar contribution to the environment by reducing the amount of greenhouse gases that are put out. Uh, in order to, to reduce rolling resistance 
and keep other important performances like wear and wet traction. It requires new technology, new materials. Those are expensive and they do cost more, but the savings you derive from the reduced fuel consumption far outweigh the increased cost of the product. I understand. Will there be any kind of incentive for the consumer? Well, that, that's a possibility. You could, you could pass tax incentives uh, or something of that nature, but that's not, uh, that's not in the cards right now. Uh, the consumers will have the incentive of saving money, putting money back into their pocket. For money.